Hello everyone, this is Sebastian from Arcade Replay and I wanted to show you guys my House of Dead 3 and 4 arcade machines or arcade cabinets as you whatever like to call them. So what I want to show you guys is what I did to the machines themselves. So here at Arcade Replay we have a very limited space, like extremely limited. So. Obviously, these games don't belong here. The House of Dead 3 goes back a little more, and the Street Fighter 4 goes outside, or the yeah, Street Fighter 4 goes outside. And you barely have any walk room here. <laughs> so I kind of told myself, you know what? These the original CRTs are starting to go out. This one, I think, if I'm not mistaken, red was already gone from the original CRT. No, it was the House of Dead 3. Red was already gone. You only had green and blue. This one, it worked, but I used it for another game. Um, I think I ended up using it for Dance Dance Revolution before, but Dance Dance Revolution ended up getting a flat CRT later down the road, which later then went into one of my maximum tunes over there. But anyways, long story short, now they both have 32 inch LCD monitors. Now, you guys are probably asking yourself, why would you do that? Or asking me, why would I do this? Well, you can see the picture's incredibly beautiful. Like, like it, just, it just looks gorgeous. And the best part about it is it fills up the whole area of the monitor surround, I guess you can say. Um, I'm gonna wait till this one boots up. It's almost done, it's at 97%. It's the bad thing about the Chihiro hardware. It takes forever to boot up. And this is obviously the Limburg hardware, really quick to boot up. Um, I am running the original hardware, not running um, the multi-boot, I guess, hard drive. Should probably invest in it though, because I think they're SSD drives, because this is still technically a mechanical um, op operating um, hard disk. So um, I did switch over to the Japanese guns. I bought these off eBay from a, from a seller. Um, I think I paid about $300 for both. And you can see I also installed some fans because these, these machines just overheat a lot. This one in the summertime, like about midday, it shuts off on me for random, just for random reasons. But pretty sure it's because of the heat because after installing the fans, um, they started to not overheat and not shut down on their own. But anyways, to the real story here or the real reason why you're here watching this video um so what i ended up doing to these arcade games because of the space you guys might hate me for this i'm sorry i cut them down in half so because the original crt monitors stick out way too much way past i think they, they stick out about over here it's some dead space for me because I'm running the LCD monitors and you can see it's just a piece of wood bolted up to the original mounting points of the CRT monitor and one what I ended up doing for the gun sensors for the gun sensors around the monitor I cut the original bezel so you had this plastic bezel that goes around the CRT and I cut it I cut it like that so i basically had two pieces now instead of one and i had this metal i have this metal frame that attaches to the bottom and to the top of the monitor so that it it becomes one piece now because the original as you can remember the original crt bezel it sticks out way too much and it will block the lcd monitor so and then for the bezel around what I ended up doing was I took off the glass, I flipped it over, and then I masked off the area where the LCD goes with um, blue painter's tape, and I spray painted the whole outside black. See if you could tell. And obviously where the gun sensors go, I covered them up with tape as well, made a circle. Um, Put a, put a circle of blue painter's tape. I kind of eyeballed it and I got, well, you, you don't have to eyeball it. You can just flip it over the glass and just put the blue painter's tape where they go. And I used the 
a utility knife to cut out the, the circles. And so, um, if you guys are wondering what LCD monitors I'm running, um, I believe this one is a Dynex from Best Buy. And then this one is a Ins Insignia. They're about, they're pretty much the same brand. Um, Best Buy pretty much changed over from the Dynex name to the Insignia brand. Um, the reason I went with those is because they have VGA um, input. So these older games still run off VGA. Um, and I don't know if the newer LCD monitors or LED monitors, whatever is out there, have VGA input. I know they have HDMI and there are converters that exist out there, but I kind of don't want to use converters. I kind of just want to straight through, um, I guess, connections. So these monitors work perfectly. They fit perfectly inside the width of the bezel or I guess the width of the cabinet no modification needed just figure out how to mount it up the way I mounted it up was there's mounting points on the back I just used that for the monitor and then obviously I mounted up the piece of wood to the original mounting points of the cabinet itself and you guys are probably asking yourself well how good is the accuracy on the monitors so it is spot on i'm actually surprised it is spot on um i was kind of having my doubts that like the guns weren't going to be aiming correctly to the game but they aim flawlessly like they're great i'm i'm actually impressed that i want to do this to my time crisis 4 over there because it has two um flat crt monitors that i kind of want to save for when my maximum tunes do decide to take a dump the monitors um i feel like maximum tune is a game you don't want to run an lcd on um you want to stay true to the crt on those but um yeah I, I guess the image is stretched but it still looks pretty good like like you couldn't tell like it's stretched look at that beautiful gorgeous let me see if I could, I could probably play you guys House of Dead 4, but I probably can't play House of Dead 3 because that requires both hands. So, let's try that out. So. Hello, guys. So another thing I kind of want to do is install LED lights on the back because it still has the original fluorescent tube on the back. I just haven't got to it. Look at this. Look at the corners. Look at the corners. Look at the corners. Pay attention to my corners. Pay attention to my corners. So you guys get the deal. You guys get the deal. My corners are pretty accurate, even with the extended monitor. Um, I didn't have to recalibrate the the game or anything. Okay, I, I could probably try to do House of Dead with one hand, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. Oh, wrong key. Yep, wrong key. I'm not gonna be able to do this with one hand. So I can do this, guys. <laughs> Look at my corners. Look at my corners. Oh crap! <laughs> Why am I trying to? <laughs> I'm just gonna stop there. <clears throat> but anyways, let me back up from the games. Beautiful. These are the most beautiful things I have in the arcade, I feel like, that I've done, I guess, customized, retrofitted. Um, these are great earners at the arcade. They are really good games. If you guys have any questions as to more to the conversion, go ahead and leave a comment down below. But obviously 32 inch insignia or dynex monitor with vga input and you can hardwire the the power of the 
of the LCD to the inside of the cabinet where the original power from the CRT was. It's nothing hard. Um, just connect the black to black and the white to white from the cables. Um, really easy stuff. And ooh, looks like I've already reached 10 minutes on this video. So I'm just going to go ahead and let you guys go. Um, thank you guys for watching this, um, I guess, little series of um, videos that I'm doing for the channel. I kind of revamped the channel, get more views up there because I want to start getting paid for this channel. I already do have a thousand subscribers. Thank you guys very much out there for supporting the channel. Um, but let me let me know if you guys like these type of videos. I could do it like on every game that I have here. Same with the Mario Kart. I sadly converted those to LCD because the original CRT monitors weren't available when I bought the cabinets, and those are maximum tune cabinets <laughs> converted to Mario Kart Arcade GP. But that's a, that's a video for another day. Let me guys give me some feedback, guys. Leave me a comment down below, and I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.